Hello and welcome to North Country Adventures. Today I wanted to do a quick overview of the HQ Issue Camp Barrel Stove. This stove measures 18 and a half by 10 and 5 8 inches. Uh, that, those are the outside dimensions. The door is 7 inches by 7 inches. It is uh, constructed of steel, uh, 2 millimeters thick or somewhere between 13 to 14 gauge. Uh, once uh, fully assembled, it is about 6 feet in total height and does weigh 23 pounds. It does have a front air vent to control burn on the front, uh, folding carry handles on the top, and a cook grate that folds out to allow drying socks, gloves, etc. And here you can see is the latch for opening and closing. And here is how you control the vent for uh, letting more or less air in. From what I understand, you pretty much want to leave these all the way open because the stove piping is um, quite small and um, in order to have an efficient burn, you basically need to leave this all the way open, which is fine with me. Um, here is how you deploy the carry handles and then you're able to just lift it right up and carry it. And if you move those out of the way, you have the cook grate here, which you can also move to the sides. And here is where you can hang socks, uh, hat, gloves, whatever you may need to dry out. And they can dry hanging here along the side. Now these tubes here are billed as um, cooking tubes. Uh, I believe they mention, you know, putting, um, you know, potatoes or vegetables or something in tin foil and putting them in here. Um, and that might be fine, except for they're really small. If you were intending to do that, I believe you'd need to actually chop the vegetables up, um, put them in tin foil, maybe add your seasoning, your butter, your onions, whatnot, and roll them up so that they'll actually fit in there and then put them in, which actually, um, I've done over campfire many times, you know, putting it in the tin foil near or in the coals and it works really well. It's just not the size that maybe, um, some people would like to maybe put an entire potato in there and bake it. And that's just not going to be possible with this. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and, um, get a shot of, um, I'll show you a quick photo here of everything nested inside. And then um, we will move on to all the components here out on the table so you can get a better look. And here we have the parts of the stove that are included and nested within. Here we have the uh, ash scraper, which you would use to pull the ash forward towards the door so that you can remove it. Here we have the uh, poker, which is used to uh, move the wood around as it's burning to uh, uh, increase airflow. And it can also be used here to open the latch on the uh, door and to regulate the airflow uh, when they're hot. You can use that to turn either one of them. Here we have the legs for the stove, which attach via these wing nuts and they attach right here. Of course, um, because the hole is about an inch down, you do have about an inch play up or down, uh, meaning that if you are on, um, uneven ground, you can sort of adjust that here. We have the base of the stove pipe and that is attached to the stove through uh, these here four nuts and bolts that are also included in the back here. We have the, uh, stovepipe cap to prevent rain from falling down into the stove. And then we have the three sections of stove piping. Um, I believe that, uh, everything put together is just about six feet in height, but I'm going to go ahead and do that now, and I will be back to show you uh, how it looks completely assembled. Okay, and here it is uh, standing at about 6 foot 11 inches. So yeah, overall, I think this is a pretty decent uh, little stove. Um, I did uh, pick this up on Amazon 
and it was only $69.99 with free shipping. Uh, I can't really complain about that. that that's a great price. Um, I, a couple of things that are cons for me is that it didn't come with a grate on the inside bottom to allow airflow underneath the, the wood and um, also to um, slow any degradation of the, the bottom of the stove itself over time from the, the high heats. Um, also, the pipe diameter is, uh, from what I understand, and it, and it does stand to reason, too small for really good airflow. So you basically, as I mentioned earlier, have to leave the uh, vent wide open. So it would have been nice if they had gone a little bigger with that as well. Um, I did notice during assembly that um, there are little burrs sort of on the inside of the holes where, where you slide the legs into. So that can be tough to actually get the legs pushed all the way in. Um, because they are adjustable, I guess, you know, as, um, in some situations you wouldn't have them all the way in anyway. I do like the fact that it, you know, it um, at the height, uh, it, the cooking surface is, it is high enough um, uh, where you don't have to bend over to, to reach anything. I guess if you were, um, you know, I'm only 5'6", uh, so if you were 6 foot, maybe you'd have to bend over a little bit. But, um, you know, put a couple of flat block or bricks underneath each, one under each foot, and that would bring it up uh, considerably for you. Also, I like the idea that the legs actually have a, a rounded hard plastic or rubberized uh, bottom um, for the feet which would uh, prevent it from punching through any tarp you may have in your tent or whatnot. Now, <clears throat> as you can see by looking at it, probably, I, I have not had a chance to use this yet. Um, I do hope to one day um, acquire a range or a spike tent, sort of like this. Or a small, maybe, uh, eight by eight or eight by tent regular canvas uh, uh, tent like this. I will be making another video here in the future when I when I get a chance um, of the first burn, which of course I'm going to do outdoors and um, see if any paint or whatnot, any anything toxic, you know, get needs to be burnt off. So I'll try to do a video of that as well, just to. Um, um, you know, let you guys get a, a feel for it. So I hope that you enjoyed the video. Um, please subscribe on YouTube and or Vidme. And um, of course, you can like, share and comment below. And don't forget to get outside and enjoy the outdoors. Thanks for watching. One other thing I wanted to mention quickly, this stove is not meant to be used indoors. Um, it doesn't have a gasket. Uh, on the door itself, which I do plan to add. Um, it is made to be used outdoors or within a tent, um, some well-ventilated area. Thanks again.